Another long wing related difference is overbanking tendency. In a typical training airplane, overbanking doesn't become noticeable until the bank approaches 45 degrees. In a long winged sailplane, this can become noticeable at as little as 15 degrees. Overbanking occurs because the wing on the outside of the turn is moving faster through the air than the wing on the inside of the turn. The faster airspeed allows the outside wing to produce more lift than the inside wing. The additional lift on the outside wing, which is also the raised wing, causes this wing to try and raise even more or overbank. To maintain a specified bank angle, the pilot must apply some aileron opposite the turn. This increases the angle of attack on the inside wing and decreases the angle of attack on the outside wing. When properly applied, the variation in angles of attack and wing speeds will counteract each other so that the lift is approximately equal on the two wings and a bank angle can be maintained. Even with the lift on both wings approximately equal in the turn, the sailplane may still tend to yaw a bit to the outside of the turn. While the induced drag is about equal for both wings, the parasite drag has increased for the faster wing, creating a yawing moment toward the outside of the turn. This must be counteracted with a bit of rudder toward the inside of the turn. Remember that a bit of opposite aileron and inside rudder may be required, and you'll find yourself flying coordinated turns in no time. 